Welcome to a new lesson in Reactive UI with Xamarin Forms. Today we will talk about validation. We will do something like this. We will have a form and a date. You have to choose a valid date. And you can execute actions. Otherwise, when you choose an invalid date, you will get a validation error and the buttons that are binded to the command will be disabled. So let's get started. Okay. Now to get started, first I will go to dependencies and install the reactive UI.validation library. So from pros, search for reactive UI.validation. Hit install. Okay, now we are ready. I'll go to view models and create our view model for the current demo. I will call it validation demo view model. Here, mark it as public. Inherit from reactive object. and i validatable view model which is an interface inside the reactive ui dot validation we should implement this interface this interface only contains the validation context it's a read only property so get and initialize it directly like this here we are ready. Now I will create a property called birthday or birth date private date time birth date public date time birth date get this to try and set oh, sorry this to tries and set if changed okay in addition to this I will create a comment I comment call it submit comment and it's a get only read only property now here is inside the constructor we can define the validation and initialize our command. So to define a validation rule for this birthday, we can use an extension method called validation rule. Import the namespace reactive ui.validation dot extensions here. We define the property to the birth date. I'll put in another line. A validation rule is a method that takes three arguments. The first one is an expression that takes an instance of the current view model, and you should define the property, specify the property. The second, uh, <coughs> the second parameter is take the value of this birth date and here you can define the rule we can say value should be bigger than new date time 1970 first of january and value should be less than new date time 1999 31th of December and the last property or the last parameter is the message here you can type a static message per day should be between and 
1231D99. In this way, it's pretty simple. Just using the this dot validation rule, you can choose the property and define the rule. And here, write the message. Now, there is another function here called is valid that returns an I observable <laughs> of type boolean. We can use it to control the execution of the command. So I will create a variable called is valid and we'll call the function this dot is valid. It is also in the reactive extensions for validations. The last thing that we want to do is to initialize our command submit command equals reactive command dot create here is the action the action will simply write something to the output window right line per date submit it now the second parameter is the can execute observable. I will pass is valid. Here we go. It's pretty simple. This is our property. You can, of course, in <coughs> all of the scenarios, you will have multiple fields. Like if you have a register page, you have username, email, password, per date as well, maybe first name, last name. You can define all your properties as usual. And here, define like uh, the validation rule for each property it's pretty simple and here we initialized our command now we can go and create the page associated with this view model I will call it as well validation demo page okay before we create anything we should inherit from the reactive content page instead of the content page the existing content page so first let's import the reactive dot forms namespace equals reactive ui dot forms and we should import the namespace of the view models Um, sorry view models okay here let's replace this with reactive UI reactive content page it's a generic class so here we have to define <coughs> the view model of this property we we'll use the X type arguments it's a view model validation demo view model now let's go to the code behind file and do the same thing reactive content page define the type of the view model validation demo view model okay now we are ready let's create our controls I will remove this one I will create a date picker date is binding to the per date in the view model set a margin 2 that's enough let's create a label that will show the message of the validation text color equals to red margin 2 as well and the last control is our button text submit comment binding to submit comment but here for the label I will define a name call it validation label okay there is only one uh, something negative about validation in reactive UI which is you cannot bind the message of the validation directly into from XAML you have to bind it from uh, the code behind file using 
the extension methods provided by reactive UI this dot bind command that we have used in the previous session or this one-way binding <laughs> two-way binding etc here we will use a function called bind command so before we do anything let's set the binding context for the page equals to view model the property inside the reactive content page equals to new validation demo view model okay now we can say this dot bind validation reactive ui dot validation dot extensions okay the first parameter is an instance of the view model now the property inside the view model that you want to <coughs> bind the validation message of of it and the last thing is an instance of the current page and define the control called validation label dot text so this method directly check the rule applied on the per day and using observables it can check if the property is valid or no if it's not valid directly it will show the message that we have specified here inside the text property of the validation label that's a pretty simple right now we can go to the last step which defines the main page to the validation demo page and let's start the project okay uh, sorry for that uh, in every binding operation that you do in the code behind file you should put your code inside the function called when activated that takes an action also takes an i disposable parameter i will call it d this d will dispose all the subscriptions <coughs> That are produced because of the bindings so here you can call the function this was with d this will solve the issue and i recommend you with every operation binding that you do in the code behind file sometimes the bind validation will accord this exception but when you for example bind to a command or make one-way binding or two-way data binding using the function like <coughs> provided by reactive UI for this process maybe it works and it doesn't throw any exception but it will <coughs> lead to a leak in memory or something like this so always use this dot when activated now let's start the code and the check okay here is our project our validation demo as well. Here is a validation error because the current date is <coughs> 1900. And as you can see, the button is disabled by default. Let me choose. Okay, here I will choose 1994. 11th of January Hit OK OK Now it's valid You can click the submit As you can see here The action has been executed Let me choose another invalid date Like this one Hit OK OK Birthday should be between Blah 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 That was everything about validation uh, you can find many information on the reactive UI web website. I will put the link about the validation in the comment box. Also, <coughs> the link of the GitHub repository that we are currently working on. Hope you enjoyed this session. Please, if you liked it, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. And thank you again so much for your watching. See you in another video.